Hey guys, it's Critter Girl, and I added a few touches to the pet room today, and I wanted to show you guys. So, I added two more cages, and yes, I am aware that those are gray and these are black, but we couldn't find any gray ones. Um, I kind of rearranged the stuff on the top up there, and I made them all name tags, not only what their species is called, but their names. You can't really see it on camera. But I finally came up with a name for the baby Spinosaurus. I named her Solar. So. <laughs> so. You know. And. Akira. I positioned her standing up tonight on two legs. So there she is. Peaches in the back. And April up front. And Ivy right here. And Pteranodons, Phoebe and her baby Penelope right there. <laughs> and the new Carnotaurus. I named her Cassie. And her two babies, Colleen and Catherine. <laughs> and, of course, you guys remember the dinosaur stickers on Bendy's cage. I want to get some for Eve's cage, too. And here is Iris's spot, my old calico critter table. I went ahead and made that into an Indominus Rex enclosure. I want to get a few more plants for that, but I didn't have any more at the time. Got her name right there. It says Indominus Rex in red. So, there she is with her pretty little fern. I'm still not exactly sure what I'm going to do with Tiffany, but if I can find something big enough, I'm going to put Amber, the other T-Rex, in with her, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to pull that off. And I have not started any work on the tank for Medi just yet. But anyway, so I put that plant over there up above the TV and this right here also above the TV on that cabinet right there. I did all of these new things today and I put all of those around the pictures. That's my picture display area. And there's me. Hi. And I put that thing up over top of the mirror so you know still trying to figure out what to do with some of the other dinosaurs but i'm thinking in order to get because i still have quite a few dinosaurs i want for my collection and in order to get all of them into one of those crates i think i might have to do second and i mean third and possibly even fourth floors of the crates and i do have to get two more to go right there so, you know, I've still got quite a bit of work to do, and I and as soon as I get it finished completely, I'm going to invite some of my family over to come and see it. But uh, I'm not my I'm not really sure because as you guys may or may not know, if you've ever done a project like a diorama or something, you guys know that the typically those artificial plants and I mean the good ones that is are usually pretty pricey no matter where you get them and. It's just a lot of work because you see, I mean, you don't, it doesn't look like much, but you see all the different individual little items in each enclosure and that kind of stuff's expensive. And I put this butterfly up here that's actually a hair clip, but I put it right there on the plant. So, yeah, that's the update on the pet room. The only things I need now, I was going to put sand in the bottom of Medi's tank. I've just got those bags in there right now because I have been too lazy to throw them away as of now. <laughs> Ow, that hit my toe. <laughs> that hurt. Uh, anyway. But I decided I was going to put sand in there for her. But then I realized since I like to play with her in the bath sometimes, give her a bath and stuff. And there's that roll of artificial grass. But anyway... I figured if I put her in there with sand wet, that would be messy. It would stick all over her and stuff. So, 
I decided that I'm probably just going to get um, those colored rocks that people put in the bottom of fish tanks and put it put that on the bottom. I'm not sure where the lid to her tank is. I I don't know where it went, but you know. So that's what I'm going to do with that. The only two different dinosaurs that need a crate as of now are the Suchomimuses. The mom and the baby, and you can see the raptors laying around. The velociraptors need a crate as well. So, next time we go to the store, I'll pick up a few more items. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I know this has been pretty long, but, um, you know, thanks for watching. I'm glad you took the time to watch this video, and... Wish me luck with this. This has been a long, drawn-out, tiring job. So, you know, have a blessed day, everybody. Goodbye.